Since the new release from Anthropic of their new computer use API, people have been going crazy on implementing the system to automate various sorts of web-based tasks and local tasks. The only problem is it's not open source, which is why I am here today to showcase a new framework that is completely open source and extendable called Skyvern. Skyvern lets you easily automate web-based tasks and it's an innovative automation tool which is transforming browser-based workflows using cutting-edge LMs and computer visions to help you do so. In fact, I actually was the first one to showcase Skyvern earlier in March when it was currently in beta at the time. And Skyvern has made a lot of progress since then, where it can now rival Anthropic's computer use API while being an open source framework. It can provide the same capabilities while giving you the flexibility and control of an open source framework. Which is why today I'm going to be showcasing how you can easily get started with Skyvern and how you can simply automate various things with it. Since my last upload on Skyvern, they have done a lot of work on refining their framework even better and even having a cloud interface where they have this new UI for you to easily automate web-based tasks. This is something that is really user-friendly and it's something that will be really convenient for a lot of us to easily manage our AI agents when you deploy them on the web. Whereas with the computer use API, you have that simple UI that isn't that user-friendly and it doesn't look so appealing. Now, unlike traditional methods that rely on custom scripts as well as brittle expats, you have Skyvern, which takes a different approach and allows you to interpret visual elements and dynamically interact with the websites, where you can have it so that you can solve CAPTCHA support, you have two-way authentication that it can accomplish, you have proxy networks that it supports, you have explainable AI, and data extraction, where you can have it so that it could even scrape websites. This is the capability that you get with Skyvern. It makes it resilient to layout changes and adaptable to sites, and it's Something that uses reasoning through interactions. It handles complex tasks like inferring answers or identifying similar products across various sorts of platforms without the need for preset rules. This is something that you get with this framework and it's something that will showcase how you can set up locally as well as how you can access on the cloud. Let's first take a look at the Skyvern cloud so that we can start operating with Skyvern and showcasing its capabilities. What I want you guys to do is go over to the GitHub repository and you can navigate over to skyvern.com where you can create an account and get $5 worth of credits for free. Now, in my opinion, I don't recommend really paying for this because I don't think it's like needed because you can easily get this started with a Docker Compose uh, container and you can locally have this set up. So for now, this is a bit more convenient for the video. So I'm gonna showcase the cloud version where it's gonna prompt me to sign up with an account. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and sign up and then we can continue with the demo. Once you sign up, you'll then be sent over to the main dashboard of Skyvern. This is where you can automate various web-based tasks. You have all your tasks that you can manage, whether they are running, queued up, or any of the ones that you've used in the past. You have workflows that you can set up. You can import them, or you can either create your own workflow with this drag and drop builder, where you can have it so that this is something that the AI agent will basically follow through. So now let's take a look at an example within Skyvern. Let's ask it to automate a task such as getting the stock price of Apple. Once you click on a task by creating one, you can simply provide the base content such as the URL as well as the navigation goal where it can request Skyvern to execute the task such as going on Google Finance, typing in Apple, and then getting the stock price. You can also have it so that you can have an extraction goal where you can retrieve the information and have it exported as a JSON file. You can also provide the data schema for it as well. You can tweak advanced settings such as the max steps that could be used Use to save money on the cloud especially but in this case let's now go ahead and run this it's gonna then be executed within the terminal where actions are being uh, loaded right now it is queued up and it takes about a couple of seconds to finally get started if we can see right away it is starting to execute our task by going over to Google Finance it's gonna then go ahead and search for Apple and then it's gonna retrieve the stock price so let's have it do this and great it looks like it was able to source through apple inc on google finance and we can see that it is now going to provide me the stock price 
which it has now finally executed. This is the capability of a really basic task that you can give to Skyvern and it will simply execute it. But you can also do various other things such as executing tasks such as data extraction, web scraping, and so much more. This is the capability of Skyvern and I truly recommend that you try it out with its open source framework. This is obviously the cloud portal, but now we're gonna showcase how you can install this locally. To install this locally, it's fairly easy. You need to make sure that you have Docker installed as well as Python. Once you have these two things installed, simply open up Docker by just searching up Docker Desktop and opening up the application. You need to make sure that you have this running in the backend. Once you have these two things installed, we can then proceed forward. You need to also make sure that you have Git installed. This is going to help us clone the repository onto our desktop so that we can then set up the Docker Composer. So now what I want you guys to do is head over to the GitHub repository, click on copying the link to clipboard. And once you have copied it, scroll all the way down to the quick start menu. And what you want to do is open up your command prompt for your operating system. And once you're here, simply just type in git clone and then paste in the link and click enter. This will start cloning the repository onto your computer. Once you have done that, we can then go into the directory of Skyvern. So this will take a couple of minutes. And once that's finished doing so, we can then proceed forward. Next, go into the Skyvern directory by simply typing in cd skyvern and which will take you into this directory. Next, you can paste in the docker compose command which is over here and you are going to be able to navigate to your local host to access this. Now on the repo, they have a lot of different types of content that explore all the different functionalities of Skyvern. I definitely recommend that you take a look at it because it explains things such as how you can uh, pass uh, something like 2FA or even solving CAPTCHAs. These are examples that will give you a clear idea as to what you can do with this. But now what I'm going to be doing is showcasing how you can uh, basically do a lot more with Skyvern by taking a look at this demo video. So let's take a look at it and let's see what you're capable of doing with Skyvern. So here uh, we have a goal called, you know, navigate through the insurance quote or navigate through the website until you generate an auto insurance quote. Don't you enter the home insurance quote. If you're on a page showing an auto insurance quote with premium amounts, your goal is complete. You can also tell it to terminate if certain uh, situations occur. Like if you are asked to talk to a support agent, terminate, probably don't want to do that. Uh, if you um, are unable to access the website, terminate, you can give it tons of guardrails to work with. Skyvern can sometimes figure it out itself, but it's, it's good to be um, verbose. Now, um, when you run things in our cloud or in the Docker image, you should see the instant startup right away and a live stream appear here. If you're running it in developer mode locally, you will not see a live stream here. You would just see the actual browser instance appear that you can interact with. And so, you know, you can always click here and you'll see a zoomed in version of it. So going back here, it seems I have missed some steps here. So I'm going to quickly reverse the, oh, there we go. The cache expired. And so if you ever wanted to see what Skyvern did in the past, you can click on the particular action and ideally the screenshot would show i think i'm looking at a cached version here so i'm just going to refresh the page to bust the cache you click on the action it shows you what what skyvern saw and what it did and actually why it did it it's pretty interesting and so here it's like hey i'm going to put in the zip code um here i'm gonna you know put the auto insurance type start my code click the continue button etc etc and it's smart enough to actually put in the information that's asked on the screen like you know um the person's full name here is Chris P. Bacon, right? And uh, a non-intelligent system would basically put in the full thing right here. And here it was smart enough to understand that, okay, what um, the form was looking for was actually the first name. And so I'm going to only input Chris and I'm only going to put in Bacon and I'm going to put their date of birth in, um, in here. So this is the tasks engine. Now, if you are the curious minded here, will notice that, you know, we can only accomplish a single goal. And let's say I wanted to do something a little bit more complicated. I wanted to go download invoices. Uh, and invoices actually requires three goals. One, login. Second, find the page of the order histories. And finally, for each order, download the invoice. And so we built what we call internally workflows to accomplish this exact task. And the intention of workflows is for you to be able to chain many of them together. And so if you wanted to harvest data and paginate through a bunch of things, instead of uh, doing it with a single prompt, which actually tends to be very unreliable, 
uh, we inst can instead break it down into many prompts that um, Skyrim can execute for you. And our goal is to actually have another AI that actually builds the prompts itself and does it all for you. Um, but you know, we'll take it one, one step at a time. This is the capability of Skyvern, which is a great alternative to the computer use API while being an open source project. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you take a look at their docs because it goes over a lot of the different details that I didn't mention in today's video. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon as well as the Twitter so that you can access AI news as well as our private Discord completely for free. Make sure you follow me on the YouTube page by subscribing, turning on the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous video so that we can all stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But with that thought guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.